Hello and welcome back. So, in this video we will look at uh, what we mean by uh, maximum likelihood estimation. So, you are all familiar with the linear regression model. So, we have a bunch of data points y i and we have the corresponding features x i. So, typically we formulate this model w transpose x. Okay. Again x i can be um, multi dimensional or we just be single variable, but that does not matter in this case. So, our model uh, the what we try to fit typically is when you looked at linear regression, we looked at the um, least squares loss function. The loss function is nothing but you have summation over m data points. square and then we have the okay so that was our uh, model and we took the derivative of this model uh, we used gradient descent to estimate w okay so where do we get this why is it that we use least squares so why is it power 2 we have looked at l1 and l2 norms and all that but still why is this the best way to do it there are many ways of approaching this one way of doing the, figuring out this uh, least squares loss function is by looking at the probabilistic uh, perspective. Okay. So, one um, if we will just reduce we will consider individual errors. So, for instance we will define this uh, variable epsilon i as i square r square s. Okay. That is the error. We just write it as error. Okay. So, this error might be due to noise in our measurement, okay, and missing data, maybe some features are missing. Okay. This could be um, this could be the error due to those those concepts. So, because some xi might be missing for a particular data point and maybe there is an error in measuring the xi as well as measuring the yi. Okay. So, typically one assumption people make about this is that these are Gaussian distributed. Okay. So, what does that mean? It means that the probability of observing a particular epsilon square we assume that it is given by a Gaussian distribution. Okay, with zero mean. Okay, so once we make this assumption, then we can rewrite our problem. So, because we know what sun square is, so we can write this as P of so we have this probability of Py. So, we can rewrite this as probability of a P of Yi given Xi and W. So, then we can just say so well that's right exponent because then it's easier to minus um, I might have missed out a negative sign here mm. say so minus. So, this is our model. So, that is we have just plugged in our model here and then we have just reinterpreted this probability as y i given x x i w. Okay. So, the idea behind likelihood is to maximize this likelihood. Okay. So, which means that if you maximize the likelihood, which means you will maximize this expression on the right with respect to x i and w. 
another way of looking at it is we can also maximize any other function of p in this case if you take the negative log of p then I am going to ignore some of the um, additive factors here you will get if you if you take the log of the exponent and then the negative sign you will get y a minus square. Again I have just written it for one data point. So, that suppose your training data consists of capital uh, or small m data points which we saw then it will be just the summation. You know why that happens is because if you want to maximize the probability of observing this data set uh, assuming that they are in the identity iid right then what we get is the probability of the data set is the product of the probabilities of the individual data so this will be product of uh, m such terms m terms so for each term there's a yi times yi minus w transpose xi okay so, but if you so if you do if you, if you actually calculate the probability of the entire data set it is a product over this each of the data points. So, and we take the log of this you would get a summation you said this is our least squares cost function ok. So, I have, I have just not done the step where I do the product, but that should be something you should be able to do. The another way of looking at it is if even if you assume that um, our data is Gaussian distributed what we are modeling here is the mean. Right. If you remember the form of the Gaussian uh, distribution, then the Gaussian distribution form was E exponential. Uh, I am just going to use a different variable, but that should not throw you off um, x minus mu by sigma squared. Right. So, this is the mean and this is the um, variance. So, this is what we were um, what we refer to as the maximum likelihood estimate. So, when you do the uh, least squares um, cost function we are assuming that the errors are Gaussian distributed or basically we are trying to model the mean using this w transfer x pi mean in the sense of uh, for every measurement on an average ok. So, we can think of it that way and we are trying to um, estimate these parameters assuming the Gaussian distribution and when we try to increase the likelihood of observing the data given the parameters ok which which we are what we are trying to estimate then we end up with the least squares loss function. Of course, if you we can also show that for a classification problems uh, at least for the um, two class classification problems if you start off with the Bernoulli distribution we can end up with the log loss or the binary cross entropy cross function which is pretty much the same way ok we can do that pretty much the same way ok. okay so, that is the um, uh, an introductory look at the maximum likelihood estimate. Um, if time permits either this week or in the subsequent weeks couple of weeks left we will look at some the maximum a posteriori estimate where basically we will be using the um, base rule and incorporating a prior. Okay, so, we will use base to incorporate a prior. So, what we calculate here, so this we saw that is known as the likelihood of the data, the likelihood of the data. So, we incorporate a prior and prior times likelihood to give you the posterior probability that is what we usually do. If we take that one step further do a full Bayesian analysis it is called Bayesian regression. Time permitting we will address these two topics in the next couple of weeks which basically um, 11 and 12 weeks we will be able to address these topics. Thank you.